Hello and welcome back to VBA to Z. If you're new here, I'm Lung Pamai, and in this video, we'll start looking at how to create your own RibbonX customizations using an XML. RibbonX is a short for Ribbon Extensibility. It uses a simple text-based um, declarative XML markup to create and customize the ribbon. As mentioned in the prior video, there is no need to learn XML as such for the sake of ribbon customization because I'll guide you on how to add controls for elements and also on how to manage uh, ribbon callback or link them to your VBA program. As we progress, I'll share more tips and also um, out-of-box functionalities to make your customization look professional. As always, project files and source codes are free for download and use. The only request from you is to support my channel so I can keep sharing all these useful videos. So if you haven't, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. First, let's take a look at some of the sample uh, customization. Again, this is SmartView uh, plugin, which is a dedicated uh, tab in the ribbon. And here, these are some of the you know, like custom icons they've used. Uh, dynamic drop down and then buttons and so on and the panel as well uh, and then if you go here you can see this portion these are labels and then there are separators as well so here this um, these particular labels are you know like updated on runtime so this shows the name of the user who is currently logged in okay so similarly uh, some of the icons here again are custom we'll learn more on how to add those as well in coming videos coming to s base plus again here you see um the menu dynamic menu buttons um here we have a checkbox okay uh the other thing i want to show is again this uh, web table scrapper the other day we checked this this is also a dynamic menu it's very simple to uh, change all this and then if you look at ixl that we checked other day if you click on this table or uh, a you know like a chart or um, a pivot table you can see that there are you know like hidden um, ribbon tabs that shows up okay so you can also customize this is an example of one of them so you can add your custom uh, ribbon as well uh, tab to those ribbons as well okay and then um, again obviously the panel this is something you know like that we cannot do from this customization we'll have to uh, use um, Visual Studio to be able to come up with this so we'll cover that as well in upcoming videos and then coming here again these are custom you know like icons that you can include in your customization so we'll add more and more of this we'll learn more of this okay and then one last thing is this CRM uh, connector that I have here is example of how you can add um, you know like your own groups to existing you know like Excel driven tab okay and the other example here is um, in this customization it entirely removes the Excel ribbon okay and then if you click on file you also see that the normal you know like menu options are gone so this is how you can also disable certain you know like controls uh, in the existing Excel ribbon okay you can hide them you can disable them and so on using all this customization before we dive into ribbon X let's take a quick look at the root folders behind the file and try to understand how and where the customizations are saved okay so taking this particular file example I'm gonna just close this for now all this file and I'm gonna copy CRM here we'll make a folder here and paste it here making a copy of this file and now I'm changing this to zip okay and gonna extract and see what is you know like the content of this file if you go in here custom ui okay this is the folder where all the customizations are saved and basically there uh, we have already gone through the sample there are basically two type of customization that you can do and the first one will be modification of application built-in user interface such as hiding or disabling you know like the controls or repurposing um, command controls okay so you can use this um, built-in controls in your customization as well and then the second one would be creating your own ui controls like a tab and then adding groups and then you know having custom buttons dynamic menus and and so on okay if you go inside the folder and open this up uh, in google chrome 
just to see the XML. Uh, here you see the schema, you know, like all these are, you know, like standard, you don't have to worry about it. Here, start from scratch. If you make this a true, this is going to hide the entire event, for example. So we're going to go through in detail later on, but uh, just to give you a, you know, like a feel of what is inside, you know, like this customization folder. Okay, so if you look here, uh, button five, six, seven. These are ID. Okay, this is this ID that's to be unique, and the label here. Upload the database. Upload the database. Run reports. Run report miscellaneous. And then this is the code that will run on action. We've gone through this in prior videos, so it gives you like a flavor or like a build up. And then these are image MSO again. These are resources from where you can you know like get you know like the image name and you know like icon. And also, if you want to insert your custom icon as well, we'll we're gonna talk more about those. This XML need to be you know like uh, put in um, correctly, otherwise it's gonna give you an error. Uh, for example, if I go in back here to that folder, so this is a folder. So if your XML is not you know like tagged properly, for example, let's see that here there is a you know, an end tag is missing, something like that for the tab. And you try to open this. It's going to give you an error pointing out that, okay, line number four, column one has the error, you know, like, and all this, okay? So again, uh, you don't have to use this to do your um, customization, but just to give you a flavor of where these uh, items are saved. And one more thing within this relationship for, you know, like folder, if you go here, you'll see that this relationship has been added. There is one line here, for example, ta -ta -ta, starting from here till here, basically points to that particular custom UI folder. And this file is basically saying that, you know, like this is the UI extensibility. And then this is basically the ID. Okay. So the type is here and then the target folder. Okay. So if you're doing this, you know, like uh, manually instead of using a software, this is where you can go to the backend of the file and then you can update this. Okay. For example, if you're working in the, like uh, in the banking industry, you know, like getting a software, is not easy. So you can still, you know, like uh, do it the harder way, you know, like go in here and update it and then link this particular folder. Okay. So let's see that, um, let me just open this in Chrome once more. Just copying that and opening this because this is not readable at the moment. So put it like this. Okay, so let's say that you want to add in one more button here. I'm just gonna make this unique ID, for example. And then let's call this uh, info. And I think if I'm not wrong, there should be info as well with image called info. I'm gonna save this, close this, going back to CRM, you know, like the extract uh, folder. I'm gonna select all and then zip it back. Now I'm gonna CRM and then con update it manually, something like the dot xlsm. Now if I open this. If it is correctly done, we should see a new button here. Okay, so this is how this is how you can also do it manually. Now I'm gonna introduce you to a software that I normally use. It's not the best software. Again, you can also use Visual Studio again uh, to do this, but then you know like you'll have to do the coding not in VBA, but then you'll have to use other frameworks like C Sharp or C um, you know like C plus plus or Visual Basic and all this. Okay, so I'm gonna close this now. So while I was doing some research, uh, the link uh, from where, you know, like this was downloaded initially was, uh, this was from openxmldeveloper.org, but this seems to be broken now, but I have this software, which I've, you know, like downloaded in the past. So I'm going to leave the link from where you can download this. You just need to download this file, extract it in the folder and run this. Okay. So you can run this. And you know, like just follow this and then you know, install it. Okay, I already did it, so I'm not gonna install it now. So, once you install this, you should be able to see custom UI editor, okay, in your desktop or in your program. Okay, so once you have this, um, this software is um, 
you know it doesn't give you any visualization but it helps you to validate your XML uh, without having to close and then open up an error as well as it gives you um, for example if let's demonstrate this I'm gonna create maybe a new file I'm gonna save this to to a try folder and let's this doesn't have to be XLSM it could be any file extension okay um, now I'm gonna save this file as let's call this try2 or something okay so now it doesn't have any customization I'm gonna close this now I'm gonna open this file try2 file so now once you select the file this is where you put in your XML code and then um, you can you know like let me demonstrate this let me go back and again I don't try to remember this these codes okay I'll s provide you with the resources from where you can you know like get a sample of all this because it's not necessary to remember all this okay now so this is the, the same XML code from that particular file we looked earlier if I validate this it tells me that you know like XML is well formed and let's say that I try to break it by just you know like removing one of the node so it just tells me okay the token is you know like uh, not valid uh, not a valid XML document and then it says unexpected token is expecting this you know like this symbol in you know, line number nine and then position this okay so it it helps in that terms you know like validates and now let's say that we want to add one more button let's call this unique button name nine and put help here and then we'll use the you know like uh, this image help icon so it says that uh, xml is well formed and maybe we'll run a code 5 for this one so when this button is so basically here again uh, very quickly button id the label and then the size you know like and then here you have um, action what happens when it click what code it runs and what is the icon okay so this helps in validating now if i click on this it will generate a callback for example this so this is you know like what will go into your vba editor and then you'll put in your code between these these two lines okay now i'm gonna just save this and close it for now we'll have to reopen this file to be able to so test two let me open this so here is the you know like customization we just did now adding a help button there and then if i insert um this callback okay so let's say that debug or message box um control dot id so it will return us the id name okay so within this you can you know i have uh your codes if i run this gives me the message box six seven eight and nine okay so ensure this id is unique so this is how you know you can use this editor to do your customization and and validate on runtime get the callbacks and so on and then read the callbacks so now you have this xml file visible after you save and reopen it and this is where you can insert your icon you know we're going to talk more about this in detail in upcoming uh videos okay i think that's it for this video you know like in the next video we'll try to pick up you know like uh, each of these icons for example if I go here I'm gonna share all the materials as well that I have the link the resources from where you can download those um, image um, you know like the name of image icons and so on so here if you look here this is the custom UI the part these are the elements if you look at under elements there are quite extensive list of um, you know like elements that you can use so so far we've just used label and then we've used button which is normal button and then we've learned how to use the image msl okay so we're gonna learn more in coming videos so that's all i have for you in this video um 
If this has helped you, do not forget to leave a like. And if you have any questions, please comment below. We'll try to discuss, uh, you know, like more in, uh, you know, like in upcoming videos. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you.